Now, previously, the alliance of major oil producers known as OPEC Plus decided to cut oil production by 2 million barrels a day, which could push up global oil prices even further. Despite this, Indonesian officials believe that OPEC's production cut will have both negative and positive impacts on Indonesia, as it could push more investors to invest in Indonesia's oil industry, as a global price increase could boost earnings and revenues. On the 5th of October, the alliance of major oil producers and its non-member allies, including Russia, known as OPEC+, Plus, made a big decision, cutting their oil production by 2 million barrels per day. The move was deeply controversial as analysts and governments around the world feared it would push oil prices back up at a time when the Russia-Ukraine war was already boosting its price. However, Indonesian officials believe that OPEC's production cut will have both a positive and negative impact on Indonesia. The head of Indonesia's special task force for upstream oil and gas businesses, Dwi Sucipto, is predicting that oil prices will continue to remain high following OPEC Plus's decision. Despite this, Sucipto believes that this will have a positive impact on Indonesia's oil industry as a global price increase will mean higher revenues and thus attract more investors. Karena kita juga impor minyak, ya impor minyak, e, termasuk juga BBM-nya, e, tentu saja menjadi e, apa namanya menjadi e, costly ya karena dengan harga kurs yang lebih mahal. Nah, di level manakah keseimbangan antara ke, ke apa namanya benefit yang diperoleh dari upstream dengan e, cost yang muncul e, e, untuk subsidi dalam hal itu tentu ini ya. Yang, yang perlu uh, dicari. Tapi kira-kira kalau di sisi upstream, tentu saja uh, uh, maintaining uh, kondisi harga sampai beberapa saat itu akan menarik untuk investasi di Indonesia. But on the other hand, higher global oil prices could also mean higher fuel prices in Indonesia. In September this year, the Indonesian government had already raised subsidized fuel prices by up to 32 percent, and if global oil prices go up again, it could put a heavier burden on the Indonesian state budget, possibly leaving them with no choice but to raise fuel prices again. The production cut by OPEC Plus will take effect by November this year, and in theory, a cut in global supply could mean higher oil prices. But for now, fears of recession are still pushing down the price of oil. On Tuesday, the 18th of October, Brent crude oil prices fell to $90.03 a barrel, lower than the prices seen after OPEC's announcement in early October.